solution of exercise 1a sets of book rs agarwal so let's start from question number 1 in this video i am going to solve only one question in this exercise total number of question is 9 but in this in this video only solution available of question number 1 let's start with question number 1 Which of the following collections are sets? The collection of all students of your class. Let's suppose there is 10 students in a class. And these are the 10 students. So can we count these students? Yes, definitely we can count these students. And these numbers can't be changed anyhow. So, we can write this in a set. I am writing only initials of a student's name. We can write this in a set form. The collection of all short boys of your class. Short boys of class. But who will define what is the definition of short? Maybe it is 4 feet, maybe it is 4 feet 5 inch, maybe it is 5 feet. It depends upon person to person. It is not fixed definition that 5 feet person is short or 4 feet person is short or 6 feet person is short. So we cannot write this in a set because there is no particular definition of short boys. There is no fixed value for this. This is that's reason we cannot write the second question in a set. Question number three: the collection of all planets of solar system. We all know that there is only eight planet in the solar system, and nobody can change this number. So this is fixed number for everyone. That's why we can write this in a set. Question number 4. The collection of 5 most talented writers of India. Again, I will say no one can define talented writers. It depends person to person. Different person like different writers. So, this question is also not a set. We cannot write this in a set form. Let's next come to question number 5. The collection of all interesting dramas written by Shakespeare. Again, I will say no one can decide that this drama is interesting for everyone. Everyone has different choice, different test. So, this is also not fixed. So, also we cannot write this in a set form. This is not a set. Next come to question number 6. The collection of all letters of English alphabet which precede K. There is no doubt that how many alphabets precede K. These are the alphabet which precedes K and no one can change this. So we can write this in a set. Next come to question number 7. The collection of all good athletes of India. Again, I will say no one can decide who is good and who is bad. It is a completely depend person to person. So we cannot write in a set form. Next question, question number 8. The collection of fat boys of your locality. Again, there is no particular weight or height or structure which can define that this is fat this is not fat so again uh, there is no particular value of fat boys fat girls fat human so we cannot write this in a set form last question question number nine the collection of all those students of your class whose age exceeds 15 years it is easy to calculate 
the age and it is easy to find out all the uh, students below 15 years so we can write this in a set form because nobody can change that value let's suppose student name with r age 10 years s age 18 years t age 12 years v 15 years p 14 years now it is easy to find out below 15 years so it is 10 12 and 14 below 15 years this is not equivalent to 15 years so we will not count this 15 so we have 10 12 and 14 so we can write this r and t and p are the students whose age are below 14 years and we can write this in a set form in this way we can write a particular values thing in a set form if you have any query related this question please write your query in comment and do subscribe my channel to get the answer of other questions and don't forget to press the notification bell have a nice day